Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add playlists to your YouTube channel homepage. So if I go ahead and open up my web browser, I've already created some playlists. So I'm going to create a separate tutorial showing you how to actually create playlists themselves. But for now, assume you have some playlists. So if I click playlists here, you'll see all these different playlists of all the different videos and all the different tutorials I've done. Some have you know 83 videos in there some have 47 and some only have two or three but i like to create playlists because it allows people to find what content they're looking for a lot easier on my channel so to create playlists we'll do that in a separate tutorial but if i click on the home page here this is my youtube channel home page and down here you can see all of the different playlists that i've listed here all right you can see quite a few different ones so i want to add an extra one to this so what I'll do is click on customize channel. Right now I'm actually looking at it in dark theme mode. So I've done a different tutorial showing you how to enable dark theme here. But when I click customize channel, I think YouTube are still working on stuff on YouTube. But when I click customize channel, it takes me into the normal sort of YouTube view here. So this is normally how YouTube used to look, quite basic and um, quite bright colors here. But if I scroll right down to the bottom, you can see I've already added some playlists. I've got, um, Open Office here, for example, I've got GIMP, so that's two of them. LibreOffice, that's three. I've got bookkeeping tutorials, that'll be four. And VAT bookkeeping tutorials, that's five. And I've got Blender here, six. Thunderbird, and all these different video channels, all these different playlists, right? These are videos from my playlist. So I'm gonna delete a few here, because they're quite old. I don't really want them in here anymore. So this VAT bookkeeping one, I'm gonna click on the edit button and delete that one. And I'm gonna scroll right down to the bottom. And if, you, if you've used up all of your slots, think of these like little slots. If you've used all of them, then you won't get this option down here to add another section. But because I've deleted a few, I can add one. So let's click the add section here. And it's gonna ask me content. So I'm gonna select from here. It's gonna ask me, do I, do I wanna do popular videos, the ones I've uploaded, ones that are live now? There's all these different options in here. And what I'm going to do is select popular uploads here, popular uploads. And it's gonna ask me the the layout do i want to lay out horizontally or vertically like this so i'm going to do a vertical list because i want to show it like this and you get a little description down the side i prefer it like this so i'm going to click done and that's it now i've got this whole popular uploads listed on my home page so it makes sense that popular ones are listed higher up so i'm going to click the up arrow here and move this towards the top and i'm going to reshuffle these a little bit here as well so let's move this one right to the very very top so I've got popular uploads now, right at the top here. Yeah? In fact, we'll have created playlists at the very, very top. So I've created another section called created playlists. So if I were to go and edit that, you can see I've selected created playlists from this drop down, and it's horizontal. And you get one, two, three, four. So maybe we'll set this as vertical. Let's see, we get one, two, three, four, five, six in vertical. And in horizontal view, we get uh, one, two, three, four, five. And you get an arrow to like, slide across like this so maybe we'll set this one to vertical let's just give it a little change today right and you can see some of the videos inside and stuff like that let's leave it like that for now so that's the first one that's going to get displayed and then um then i'll have popular videos and then i want to take my gimp tutorials and put that next and then after that i want blender so i'm going to move blender up the list to like this now so now i've got popular videos I've got, um, first of all, my GIMP playlist, or my, all my playlists in general. In fact, let's switch that back to horizontal. Uh, let's, let's move that one up. I prefer to have this horizontal. Uh, it takes up less space. It's less distracting, right? So if that's pretty much I'm done, right? That's what I'm going to do for now. So this is how you add the playlist to your homepage. Let's go back to um, my YouTube channel here. So I'm just going to delete this from the URL and go back to the main channel. And we'll see it in dark mode. If I pause this video, here you can see the created playlist that will scroll across. And now people have access to my most popular videos here. All right? And this is someone looking at my channel. This is how it will look like. And then if I scroll down, I can see the GIMP playlist. I can see the uh, all the other options here. All these different options. Uh, and I just want people to be able to access a lot of my content straight off of this homepage. And I'm putting, I'm trying to put the most popular things uh, at the top right so here's all my popular videos 248,000 views 174 111 this is 107,000 views and then I've got all my GIMP stuff people like to watch a lot of my GIMP tutorials and we've got Blender down here so really Blender wanted it up one so let's go and edit that quickly 
Let's go to customize channel again and we'll move Blender up one more. Let's scroll down here. Here's Blender. Let's move it up one more and then we'll have open office underneath. So now we, you don't really need to save anything. As you move them, YouTube will save them automatically. So I'll just click here, delete that and go back to my main channel. And now we have uh, the playlist all set up how I wanted them to be displayed and it's a slight little update so if you come back to my YouTube channel you see this small update here so that's how you go about taking your playlist that you've created and displaying them on your YouTube channel homepage and that just just gives a bit more interaction when people are visiting your channel there's a bit more substance there rather than it just being pretty much empty right so let's go ahead and minimize this I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial mm -hmm.